Welcome to another edition of the Vulcan Sports Review here on CUTV, the show that takes a look at what's going on in the world of California athletics. Today we're talking about the 2008 PSAC Championship. Uh, California men's soccer team head coach Dennis Lasky. Coach, thanks a lot for taking the time thanks out for, to talk to thanks me. Thanks for having me, Paul. First off, Coach, you started off the season uh, getting your 200th win in a game against Alderson Broadus. What did that mean to you, uh, basically starting up the program here and being here ever since then? Well, to be honest with you, I, I really didn't know that that was our 200th win, you know, with the program. Um, but we kind of, you know, even if we had, we still would have approached it as the same as any other game, you know, just trying to win that game. Um, once I did know that, that that was 200, then it felt good not to even <laughs> think about that anymore. But uh, we really haven't followed it. And it, really, ever since I've been here, it's just been uh, a complete focus on the game that we are in and uh, trying to win that one. Um, so that kind of sums it up, really. You've really built this program up from the bottom up. Uh, how, how tough was that to start with basically very little and yeah. to the point where it is today? Uh, well, I mean, you know, it was, I guess you could say it was a little bit hard because you have to try to establish a program um, that players want to come to, you know, and, and so, you know, that was a little bit of a task, but we, we, uh, we recruited good student athletes and retained a lot of them and uh, played strong schedules ever since I've been here, um, as noted by our 1-17 in, in our first year, really, and, uh, and kept the program, you know, playing very competitive schedule. And with all of those players graduating and having good playing experience, it helped us uh, attract some quality players. I mean, just like the four seniors that we're losing this year, I mean, they were quality players. Um, and had a lot to do with the success of the program. And you need at least four or five uh, quality seniors to, uh, su to sustain the program, and we've been able to do that. So initially, a little bit tough because you didn't have those upperclassmen, but after a couple years, we, uh, we established the direction of the program and the uh, type of competitive schedule that we would continue to play. Fast forward now to this year, very successful season for you guys, as you can see by the trophy behind me. Um, yeah. What were your expectations so coming into the season? Um, well, our expectations were to, you know, make the playoffs and hopefully win the PSAC. Um, we, we had a lot of injuries. We lost a couple of players for the season and, uh, and then players taking turns with injuries, you know, throughout the season. But, uh, you know, same thing. I mean, everybody kind of brushed it off, and we didn't look for excuses to not do well. And uh, uh, they persevered, I guess you could, you know, best sum it up. And, and it helped lead us to uh, getting, you know, n not only to have to win on the road at Slippery Rock to even make the playoffs, to come out of last place, but to uh, e eventually host the PSAC semifinal. Uh, which we won and, and then to win the West and then have the opportunity to play for the state title was uh, w It was very gratifying, you know for what we overcame and and I know that the kids really You know will look back on that a lot of you know How did we get there with all of the adversity that we had to deal with and you mentioned those injuries Felipe Sousa who is uh, yeah, in my I mean, opinion yeah. one of the best forwards in the PSAC right now. He, he is he is and in, uh you know, he, he, he got to play one full game and broke his foot. And, uh, you know, at least he got to do that. Mikey Jurisic didn't even, you know, make it to preseason camp. Um, that was a big loss. And then our center midfielder was declared ineligible, and we lost him. Uh, Marcel Francois was an outstanding player. But like I said, you know, nothing against those boys but uh, that were injured or lost. Um, but we just went on with this is what we have. You know, we're not going to make any excuses. You know, uh, neither me nor the players. You know, we were going to uh, put forth our best effort every game. You know, try to do that. And uh, and we did stumble a few times. Um, and 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 to me, you know, I I assert that it was because of some of the injuries that we had, and then maybe holding a few players back for critical games coming up. And, uh, 
you know. But at the end of the day, you know, we, we overcame a lot and, and made it, you know, all the way. I mean, it's a tribute to those kids. I didn't do it, you know, <laughs> they did. Um, so okay. it was and, good. In the preseason polls, going back before the season even mm-hmm. started, uh, you guys were picked to finish number four in uh-huh. the PSAC West. Uh, did you use that to kind of motivate the players at all? Uh, they don't um, think we can do it. Let's show them. Yeah, I mean, maybe a little bit. I mean, uh, you know, everybody, all players have a sense of pride. And, you know, when you tell them that your back is against the wall or that you can't do this or you can't do that, I mean, uh, any collegiate athlete uh, that has any merit to them is going to stand up and say, yes, we can do this. And so maybe there was, I I would think most of it was within the team itself, um, that it may be intrinsically uh, motivated them a little bit more that they are not coming in last and it, and and even me I mean from a personal standpoint you know I mean I I've been here for a while and I don't think I'm the greatest coach in the world but I do have a sense of pride that you know I'm going to finish better than last and so I you know maybe that had something to do with it of all those players ignoring uh, injuries and difficult you know difficult situations and everybody stepping up to make sure that we do not finish in last and uh and it really came down to one game you know that to to prove the naysayers you know were were wrong um and that was the game at slippery rock and to have to do it on the road uh in a very tough environment and and a very difficult field and a couple players not completely healthy yet you know i know evan pickard was still injured and and uh Shaq, you know, Shakir was still in, injured, and uh, Toucher wasn't a hundred percent. So, uh, just to name a few, you know. But um, you know, they dug down pretty deep and and pulled it out for us, you know. And so I, I, I'm just I'm optimistic that that sense of pride that they created out of this adversity-filled year will will carry over. You mentioned four seniors on this team, but there's a lot of young guys on this team as well. A lot of returning guys. Uh, Derek Yobi, who was a freshman last year, mm-hmm. got a whole lot of playing time at goaltender uh, this year. It, what improved from last year to this year that he, he really took over that goaltending uh, position? Um, yeah, I mean, I, we have two great goalkeepers. Charlie Dagnall is the other goalkeeper. And, uh, you know, Derek, um, you know, just became a little more composed and uh, a little more comfortable, you know, in the net this year. And his game management uh, improved from game to game. Um, so we're very, we're very pleased that we have two quality goalkeepers. I mean, there, there are many universities that do not have one. And, and we have two great ones. And we expect, you know, Derek and Charlie to uh, continue to pr- improve. Uh, we have them for at least two more years. So uh, we are expecting big things out of our defense. Um, the next couple of years. In late September, you guys played five consecutive home games at uh, Roman Park up there. Um, Derek Yobi really shined through. Four of those games, he uh, threw a shutout. I don't know how you say that, but threw a shutout, I guess. Yeah. And uh, the team really, if you look at a place in the season, I, I think you look at those five games right there is where the team really kicked it in the gear for, for this season. Yeah. Yeah, I think that, you know, that's when we really began to feel that, you know, we had to make a move right now. And uh, like I said, you know, a couple of the kids had come back from injuries and we were piecing it together. Um, Still some nagging things with uh, injuries to key people. But um, I think that they uh, I think that they fought through it and said, you know, we have to do it. You know, we have a year to to heal up and my seniors you know they've got the rest of their lives the way they were looking at yeah. it and they wanted to go out um you know at least making the playoffs okay coach thanks a lot for taking the time out right now you'll be back later in the show but next we have two seniors from the california soccer team uh shakir mccoy and brian uh, brian braithwaite White. excuse me uh joining us on the set right here on the vulcan sports review for the latest news from the Mon Valley and its surrounding areas, turn it to CU TV News Center. Our reporters and anchors bring the news, entertainment, sports, and weather live right into your home. It all started here in Fayette County's SPCA. Locals say that they've been seeing an increase in traffic. 
Enchanted, your classic Disney fairy tale. News, entertainment, sports, weather. CUTV News Center. Live every Thursday at 5 on CUTV. If you want the latest inside information about Balkan sports, look no further than the Balkan Sports Review on CUTV. We feature coaches and players to give you, the fans, all the behind the scenes action and information. Swimmers tend to be very focused academically and very successful academically. You know, PSAS was a lot of fun. If you're a Vulcan fan and looking for the latest in Vulcan sports, turn it to the Vulcan Sports Review on CUTV. Hey Katie, do you have the PSAC Championship game from 1995? Uh, thanks. Vulcans Football 2008 gives you the insight on last week's game with Coach Luckhart and his staff. And now our goal is to continue to, to make that kind of progress and, and then to establish and keep it. We really don't care. We're interested in winning this football game, and that's all that matters. To me, the whole object of the game is to win. I, I'm pleased with how our kids have handled the challenge. For highlights, analysis, and a look to the future, check out Vulcans Football 2008 only on CU TV. Welcome back to the Vulcan Sports Review here on CUTV. Joining me now are two members of the California uh, soccer team, Brian Braithwaite. Brian, am I saying it right at least? Getting it close. Braithwaite. Braithwaite and uh, Shakir McCoy. Shakir, I understand there's something you want to tell the ladies of uh, Cal U before we even get started here. Yeah, I'm single and searching. <laughs> single and ready to mingle, you know? I'm in the same boat, ladies. <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, very successful season. First off, congratulations on that. Um, Thank you. I asked Coach, now I'm going to ask you guys. Brian, first, uh, what was your expectations coming into the season? Um, coming in, we saw that we were picked to finish last, and I, I was almost happy about it. You know, like, we'll, we'll go with the us against the world mentality. I still expect us to finish first. You know, I mean, you always got to go into the season with complete confidence. So, uh, I mean, that was, that's where all our heads were at, I think. Shakir? Uh, I sort of took it as a lack of respect for us because we did return a lot of players from last year. I think we only lost two seniors the year before. and I just took it as, like, they don't respect us, so let's go out and, and gain some respect. You guys really stepped up in the leadership role. Were you guys ready for that, being seniors and uh, taking over that leadership role at, on the team? Yeah, I think so. I mean, all our, all our underclassmen... You know, we got, a, we got all good guys on this team, so, like, no one's going to give us problems. You know, they, they go as we say, and, I mean, we'll listen to what they have to say, too. So, uh, I, mean, I think the best part of being leaders is having people that are, you know, being uh, cooperative with how you lead. Shakir? Yeah, I mean, our team, is, our team is pretty good about, you know, not really going too far off the handle. I mean, we, we try to listen to each other, so we're, we're all right. And I mentioned the coaches, four wins out of five games up at Roman Park. Uh, it, I really viewed that as the uh, point where this team really started to pick it up and really started to uh, progress in the PSAC West. What, what point in the season did you guys feel like we have a legit shot at this and uh, really picked it up? Um, yeah, I mean, the whole season, I know we had a shot. The PSU, or PSAC West is so close the whole year. I mean, you win one game, you go from first place, you lose it, you go back to fourth place, you know. The whole year we knew we were in it, and then, uh, I mean, once we, once we saw, okay, we, ha we control our own destiny from here, we really smelt the blood and went after it. Shakir, how about you? I think it was honestly when, when Slippery Rock beat Lockhaven is when I knew we, we controlled our own destiny again, and we knew if we beat Slippery Rock in that last game of the season, we were in. That's, that's all we needed to focus on there. It just came down to one game. You mentioned that last game of the season. Did you guys feel the pressure there, or was it just another game for you guys? Because you realize you lose that game, you might not make it into the playoffs. You win that game, you're first, you're, you're hosting. Yeah, no, that's, that's not just another game. I mean, adrenaline was flowing. That's, 
that's a game that like, we'll remember for the rest of our lives. And Coach Lassie said that's one of the most memorable games he's had since he's been here, and uh, it's definitely the most memorable game I've played in. How about you, Shakir? Well, absolutely. I, I mean, I, I guess you would have to say I felt the pressure because I knew what was at stake going into the game, but, I mean, you just play. You just got to play with intensity and hope that you can get the job done, and we went in and we got it done. And then after that, you guys actually play the – uh, uh, Slippery Rock again in the uh, first round of the PSAC tournament. Uh, how did you guys keep your head from looking forward past Slippery Rock? You guys already beat them twice in the regular season. How did you guys prevent from this team looking f past them and uh, on to the championship game? Uh, I think we just stressed, like, you know, you can't look past this game. Yeah, you beat them twice, but, I mean, just the way games go, it could just been like a lucky bounce here or there. You know, any team can win any game, and I know me personally, I wasn't ready to end my career at that point, so uh, I made the kids stay focused. Shakir, how about you? Well, uh, Coach Lasky tells us all the time, you know, you just got to win one game, and that's from there on, that's how we were looking at it, you know, just take it one game at a time. We weren't looking past anybody because we knew if we lost, then the season was over, so. And a lot of injuries on this team, uh, Coach was saying some of them. Um, did you guys feel more pressure on on? The seniors, as as uh, the season wore on, with all these injuries kicking in and and what not happening, uh, maybe a little bit, but I mean not really. Like Coach Lass, he he did a great job. Just you know, he'd never bring that stuff up. He'd never make us think, oh, you know, if we had this guy, maybe we won that game. We'll be that guy. I mean, just good. He said we're going with what we have, and that's the way we looked at every game. You know, so Shakir. Um, I guess like I was I was injured a little bit and I kind of felt a little bit of pressure to come back because it's my senior year you know I don't yep. want I don't want to sit on the sidelines and watch my team you know win or lose so I definitely felt a little bit of pressure and I wanted to play so you know I just got to suck it up sometimes. And then in the championship game you guys play Millersville uh, earlier in the season you guys lost to Millersville three to two uh, and then really in the last uh, about ten minutes or so. Uh, someone gets a red card, get tossed out of the game. You, you guys are actually playing a man down. Uh, what was what was the team's reaction to that, and how did you guys actually pull together in that situation and really kick it in the gear? Uh, and after Mike Lukey, you know our go-to guy, our leading scorer, the PSAC, Once he got his red card, uh, it was a buzz off from there for sure. Then we actually, I don't know if you know, we actually had another guy get red carded even later in the game, but. Uh, from there, I mean, it just took heart to keep getting the balls out, playing 11 on 9. We just had to do what we had to do, and luckily we came up with the win. Shakir, how, how did you handle that pressure? Um, I think everybody knew that we all had to step up and play like we each had to play like two men and not run around like a bunch of Neanderthals. <laughs> and, you know, just everyone stepped it up, and, you know, we kept the win. Derek Yobi played amazing that game. As you can see, he got tournament MVP, so... You mentioned Derek Yobi, a lot of other young guys on this team. Uh, Mike Luque returns next year. Um, what do you view the future of this uh, team as? I'm interested as seniors, how do you view the future? Um, I mean, yeah, they'll be losing four of us, but I mean, you know, I think we're all pretty replaceable, uh, especially with the guys coming up. And uh, now some of the recruits are supposed to be pretty good. So, I mean, if they get their heads on straight and keep the, the way it's been going, then... Uh, they should have no problems getting back to the same place we were at this year. Shakir, how about you? Uh, Coach Lasky does a good job recruiting, so I, I think I think they'll do well next year. They have a really solid core, so it should be fun. Yeah, I, I like to bring this subject up. You guys are also uh, students here, Cal. What's the major? I'm sport management guy. Shakir? Sport management also. Yeah? yeah? How's that going for you? It's good. It's, good. <laughs> it's, it's all right right now. What, right. Are you, what are you guys looking at uh, past post-graduation? Uh, I graduate in December, but I'm not ready. I'm not ready for the real job yet, so I'm going to come back for grad school in the spring. There you go. Shakir? Uh, I'm still trying to look to play after college, so I'm going to look into some of those opportunities, and if it doesn't work out, I'll probably just go back to grad school. Okay, Shakir. Brian, thanks a lot for taking the time out to talk to me today. Thank you, Paul. Okay, when we get back, Coach Lasky will rejoin us on the set for one final segment here on the Vulcan Sports Review. Welcome to Valley Views. I'm your host, Bob Burke, from the Valley Independent. Bob Burke knows the Mon Valley. To catch special guests discuss issues of the Mon Valley, turn it to Valley Views on CUTV. 
uh, a local program being planned to put more emphasis on, on, on this whole water issue. And something we're going to commit to for the long term. Is That's one of the promises of the knee you were talking about, which has an easier recovery. To see Bob Burke attack Mon Valley issues, turn it to Valley Views on CUTV. There's a university where success is more than a paper chase for a degree. One that builds the kind of character that can help you do the right thing as well as the smart thing. Where core values of integrity, civility, and responsibility are not just taught, but integrated into your day-to-day -day experience. California University of Pennsylvania. Welcome back to the Vulcan Sports Review here on CUTV. Jo rejoining me on the set now is head coach Dennis Lasky. Coach, uh, we mentioned all the success this program has had this year. Uh, you guys actually have camps where younger uh, soccer players can come um, and learn? Yeah, I mean, it's been an avenue to, uh, for recruiting. You know, I mean, we have great camps um, throughout the summer. We have boys' high school camps, girls' high school camps. Uh, we even have middle school camps. And uh, so it gives uh, these young players, you know, a, an early look at how we run the programs. And, and we have a great staff. Um, a lot of our players come back and serve as counselors, and uh, they get to see some very good soccer players, you know, while they're here at camp. And uh, it has helped us considerably over the years, you know, with, with recruiting. And plus it keeps, you know, our coaching staff on their toes with uh, – New ideas, generating some, uh, you know, good tactical games, you know, experimenting uh, in the camps on what works and what doesn't work. So it's been good. You mentioned the recruiting process. Uh, what goes into that recruiting process? You guys actually go out of the country. Felipe Souza is from Brazil. Um, what, what goes into that recruiting process and going outside um, the country? Well, I mean, one of the benefits of being at a school for a long period of time and being involved in the game is that you... Uh, you develop a lot of contacts and relationships with other coaches within our country and out of the country. And uh, it's a network, you know, that a lot of people help you out and, and understand types of players that you're looking for, just talking. And, uh, and many of our players have come from uh, players that have played here at Cal. Um, Either, and, and then continue to coach and have some involvement in the game. I mean, we have many of our alumni that are soccer coaches, uh, administrators, referees, uh, heads of clubs, coaching collegiately and high school. So, um, you know, that, that has helped tremendously. I mean, I've been here for quite a while now, and, um, and I, I would say half of the players that we now recruit have come from some connection between former players and and the university. And Matt Kiefer was telling us uh, during the during the commercial break that it's the 25th anniversary of this uh, organization being born, and and you've been here for 23 years. Right. Uh, what kind of celebration was there for that 25th uh, anniversary? Um, it was good. I mean, there were several players that came back from that initial team, and uh, and then players over the last 25 years and, and shared some good memories and uh, and had some good times you know we had uh, we, we provided food and beverages and cake and, and made it a real nice affair in t-shirts we had uh, anniversary t-shirts and uh, it made it made it for a nice affair for everybody and hopefully uh, it will continue to grow as our alumni has grown over the years. And I mentioned you've been here for 23 of those mm -hmm. 25 seasons. Mm -hmm. uh, what kind of progression have you seen this uh, program make over your 23 years here? Um, you know, I, I've, the progression I've seen being made has been that of stability, um, which means that this is how we run the program. Whether I'm right or wrong of how I do it, this is how it's run. And it's passed on, and, and like my seniors, uh, uh, you know, adhered to before about the other players listening to what they had to say and following it. Well, that's kind of coming from how we want to run the program. And, and my seniors um, provided great leadership, and they 
they, I mean, I, I try to tell them all the time if we go the same direction that it probably will work. And so that's what they have to instill in those younger players. You know, follow us, do what we do, and, uh, and it'll give us a, the best chance to have success. So I think, you know, I would have to say stability to the program is, um, is probably the key. And it took several years to establish that. Uh, because when you have a young team and young players and you're playing a very strong schedule, which w we've always done that, um, sometimes it's hard to get believers in you of, of what you want to do. Looking forward to next year now, uh, what are your anticipations? What are your expectations for this team? Um, you know, I mean, starting all over again. I, I'm telling you, I, I mean, you said about replacing the seniors that we lose. Um, they are irreplaceable. You know, that team goes down in history as, as that team. It won't have it, it, the effects of the leadership that they provided, hopefully, was passed on to the upcoming uh, junior class and, and some of the sophomores. Um, but it will be an altogether different team. And, um, you know, those players were uh, uh, tremendous for us. That was. McCoy and Braithwaite and Pickard and Bly Miller, you know, it's tough to replace those people. I was thinking about that, um, you know, just the other day uh, because I have these four great seniors with all this physical and mental maturity and I'm bringing in f four young freshmen mm -hmm. who are nowhere near as physically or mentally mature as them. So you can't really replace those people. You, you can hope that the other people under them you know, learned a little bit and stepped up and, and can once again provide that leadership. Head coach Dennis Lasky. Coach, thanks a lot for thanks, talking to me today. Thank you. Congratulations Thank you. as well. Thank you. Well, that will do it for another edition of the Vulcan Sports Review here on CUTV. would just like to remind you, any questions, any concerns about the uh, California uh, soccer program, you can always check out www.calvulcans.com. Matt Kiefer and his staff do a great job of keeping that site maintained with all the California athletics information. That will do it for another show. Good night.